I have to ask you about Here Lies Love as well. Broadway's first all Filipino cast. What was that experience like for you? Was there a difference in maybe you getting more personally invested in the story and the characters itself because you have that connection? Was it harder for you to detach from the story? Was that something you were trying to do as well? Were you approaching as a completely uh, independent production and did not make a difference to you? What was that experience for you? Well, the experience as a whole was truly life-changing because I don't think Broadway has ever seen a show like Here Lies Love before. Yeah. I mean, at the Broadway theater, just from a, a physical... <laughs> visuals perspective alone it i mean they ripped out the entire orchestra of the broadway theater they ripped out the seats and created david corns our scenic designer tony nominated scenic designer that is he he created a nightclub on broadway it was just phenomenal and in that sense it was unlike anything i'd ever experienced before so so and it was also we, we you would have moments where you're you're on the the dance floor stage and then you have to go up to the satellite stage all the way up here in a matter of like 30 seconds like there are videos of us running backstage which is not the safest thing given given the working conditions and the dark the darkness of a broadway house but but we did it we made it happen because we do it for the love of theater and the love of storytelling but with regard to the filipino culture of it all i mean in so many there are so many opportunities lies there are actually there are actually only so many opportunities to to portray an asian story on stage but it's just that normally it's like an asian story or it's like the king and i and if you're asian you'll generally speaking be considered for that track that role that production what made here lies love so special for the first time it was a filipino story it was yeah. so specific that i don't i don't know in my life i've never been i've never seen a production that was not just all filipino company members but it was a filipino story it was our story that we were telling in every single night and to watch people who i mean this particular government overthrow happened 40 years ago people in the company were were children of martial law they were martial law babies who fled the philippines and eventually made their way to america like this is a such a timely story to be telling about about um democracy and the threat of democracy especially given that the um the the marcos's child bong bong was elected as the president after something like this had already happened in the country and so it's just very interesting to see how democracy plays a role in a very telling and, and timely and meaningful role in a american broadway show yeah yeah especially given that this year is an election year too it's just so fascinating i wish that this the show could have stayed open long enough for a lot of these conversations to be happening with regards to, you know, how the election will go at some point later this year too. So just fascinating stuff about how, how all of these meaningful conversations interplay with one another. Like theater is so important. And the fact that we get to watch it as entertainment, but then go home and be like, Oh, how does this actually resonate with all of these other facets of my life? Very interesting. Very interesting. And just makes you think. And that's one of the most powerful things about storytelling. I believe when the show came to a close, I think it was one of the directors who said, this is not the end, but it's the beginning. And I, I agree. Like when you look back on yeah. this show, I'm sure it'll be looked back fondly. 